this is Mary over here at Image on the Page, and today I'm going to do a tag video. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I've seen quite a few go around, so I'll probably be doing them fairly often-ish to catch up, but this one is the 52 Nifty Bookish Questions. I saw Kathy over at Kathy Tridhart's channel. She was tagged by Sean the Book Maniac. I do not know who the original is from. If I can find it, I will post it down below. Always I post both Kathy's and Sean's, excuse me, Sean's videos in my description box to get started. Um, so I haven't, I mean, I, I watched Kathy um, do this video, but I haven't really done any prep work. Um, there's some where I don't even know the authors. There's some I don't know the answers to. So I'm just going to try to do these kind of off the cuff to see what my answers in my answers are in the moment and we'll just get started let's see the first one is what book are you reading right now i'm actually reading two books three books i'm actually reading two books right now i am listening to trader's moon by lynn falling it is the third book in the luck in the shadows series which is one of my favorite series i've been in the mood for fantasy but i haven't been in the mood to commit to something new really so I thought maybe rereading or re-listening to something um, I already love would kind of get me back in that mood because I have a ridiculous amount of fantasy books on my TBR. And I'm also reading, this is a gigantic book, Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. I actually finished Six of Crows, which was really awesome. I hope to do a review of it soon. But I am getting into Crooked Kingdom. I mean, how pretty are those pages? I'm not far whatsoever. I'm on page 14. Um, but like it so far. Let's see. Question, question two. What was the last thing you highlighted? Probably something for work. I don't really highlight in my books a lot at all. Okay, I don't really ever. So it had to have been something for work. What do you plan to read next? I probably plan to continue listening to the Night Runner series. I think the next one is The White Road. And then, I don't know, we'll see how I feel once I finish Crooked Kingdom. Maybe I'll be continuing with the Leo Bardugo series. I might go back to Cole McCaid, his Criminal Intentions book. His recent, most recent one, his eighth in the Criminal Intentions series just came out. Maybe I'll do that. Um, we'll see. One fiction writer, living or dead, with which I would like to grab a drink. I don't know. Probably my favorite, one of my favorite authors, Tamora Pierce. I mean, just some of her approaches on religion and her relationship with her husband sound really interesting. So I, I, I guess I'm going to go with Tamora Pierce. One nonfiction writer, living or dead, with which I would like to grab a drink really grab I don't really read nonfiction ow I don't know Michelle Obama she just came out with her nonfiction book I don't know if it was a memoir or what or not a biography but sure Michelle Obama one poet living or dead with which I would like to grab a drink I really don't read poetry unfortunately um but I did uh, back in college go listen to this um, poets speak and she had done her work in translation I will if I can find a picture of it in her name I'll put it up here but it was so moving and just some of the things she experienced so m maybe her I think that would be interesting I mean we probably have to have a translator but meh. one booktuber without with which I would like to grab a drink um I can't choose one cannot Kathy, definitely. Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. Cece from Problems of a Book Nerd. Adriana from Perpetual Pages. Mike Matthew at Matthew Sharapa. Um, Eric from The Lonesome Reader. So many. So many. Emily Dickinson or Edgar Allan Poe. I guess Edgar Allan Poe, because I've never read Emily Dickinson, nor do I feel inclined to. Hemingway or Fitzgerald? You ever? Jane Austen or Charles Dickens? 
Also neither. Can, is that an answer? Can I can I choose that? I guess because I I don't like classics. Harris or Hitchens? I have no idea who those people are. Absolutely no idea. Question number 12. Stephen King or Michael Crichton? I guess I would have to say Michael Crichton. I don't like horror like at all and I know that's what mostly what Stephen King does. I think Michael Crichton does more like mystery detective-y novels. Um, but honestly I probably wouldn't like either. Number 13. Brett Easton Ellis or Chuck Palahniuk? Palahniuk? I don't know who either of those are. Kurt Vonnegut or John Green? Kurt Vonnegut? Shakespeare's poems or plays? Plays. Adrian Fort or Dalton Gentry? I have no idea. Don't know who those people are. Cormac, Cormac McCarthy or J.K. Rowling? J.K. Rowling. Hannibal Lecter or Voldemort? See, this one's interesting. Because it'd be, who would I rather go up against? Voldemort. Because he does long-winded speeches and that's easy to get him distracted by. Who do I think is a better villain? Hannibal Lecter. T.C. Boyle or George Saunders? George Saunders fantasy? George Saunders? I don't I don't know who those are. Good writing or good story? Both. I mean I guess I can get through a book if it's not the best writing but has a really interesting story. Or like if it has really awesome characters. YA or children's lit? YA. Irony or humor? Irony? Sci-fi or horror? Sci-fi. Fantasy or nonfiction? Definitely fantasy. Rather find a new favorite contemporary writer or a new favorite old-time great? I guess a new favorite contemporary? I mean, I don't really like contemporary novels or classics, so... Sonnet or haiku? You? Sestina or Villanelle? Well, I kind of know what a Sestina is. I have no idea what a Villanelle is. So, Sestina? And don't ask me to define a Sestina because I just know that I should know it because I took an English course or poetry, clo poetry course at college but what it actually completely co follows, I have no idea. Spend the evening at a library or a bookstore? Either, honestly. Magazine or Wikipedia article? Wikipedia article. Dictionary or encyclopedia? Dictionary? The writer I would like to write my biography. Oh, I have no idea because I really don't want anyone to write my biography. So I would like Morgan Freeman to be the narrator of my autobiography though. I do not highlight my books. I do not write in my books. Earliest memory of a library. Um, it's probably back in middle school. Our library was actually detached from our, I mean elementary school. The library was actually detached, and I remember having to walk across the courtyard to go into this tiny little trailer that was our library. What books it actually had in it, no idea, but that's my earliest memory of a library. Have you ever stolen slash accidentally stolen books from the library? No. Ballpark, how many books do you own? Um, if we're counting ebooks, 600. If we're not counting ebooks, 200. How many books do you think would make for a reasonable personal library? 
how many ever you wanted. So there's Sense and Sensibilities in Sea Monsters, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. How do you feel about the phenomenon? Fine, I guess. I don't care. I don't like classics, so I don't care if they make a twist on them. I mean, they do that all the time anyway. Horror trope you would like to see get more love. I don't know any horror tropes, so I don't care. Something you think gets underutilized in sci-fi. I don't read a lot of sci-fi, but from the little I've read and... Okay, not the little I've read, but the little I've watched. Um, having different culture societies within the different species or races. Like, they're all kind of structured around the same kind of government here in Europe or in America where there's like one big ruling body it would be kind of interesting to see how many different cultures or societies people could come up with if they don't let those rules come um bind them flash flash fiction Form of and format of literature, or it's just a short, short story, dummy. I guess form of and format of literature? I mean, it is a really short story, but sometimes that brevity can make it be more impactful. If you could own one book from all of history, what would it be? I don't know. Probably something from Atlantis or ancient, ancient Egypt. Audiobooks? The same as reading. One you read to yourself and one someone reads to you. Is it still reading? Yes. But I mean, it's a slightly different form of getting it. It'd be like saying that reading on an ebook is not reading. It is, it's just a different format. Most literary songwriter of your lifetime. I don't listen to music. What writer embarrasses you the most because you haven't read them? I kind of grown out of being embarrassed by authors I haven't read. What writer embarrasses you because you've read too much from them? Kind of the same answer. I've grown out of being embarrassed by my reading habits. What is a biography you are looking forward to reading? Um, probably Michelle Obama's. I don't really read autobiographies or biographies but I've heard really good things about hers. Do you have a dream reading cubby? Kind of. I mean, it's nothing very specific that I couldn't like show you a picture and it would be this exact thing, but something that is really nicely lit, has a lot of natural light, has very comfy seats to sit in, and has my books and my kitty. Definitely has my kitty. Last literary phenomenon that really got your gears grinding. Subscription boxes selling fan art when the literary community kind of as a whole looks down on fan fiction. Like that's, that kind of pisses me off. What was the last piece of literature that changed the way you read? That's really interesting. Changed the way I read? I don't know. Because I don't know that there's, it's kind of hard to say because I mean, I guess I could say a closing comment orbit. I listened to that one on audiobook, and that one definitely chose the way I choose audiobooks because for before then I just chose audiobooks that I could kind of put in the background, and I very deeply connected to a closing comment orbit and felt it very personally. So I guess that one. Last but not least, what booktuber have you been watching the most recently? Oh, I don't know. I actually haven't been watching a lot of booktubers recently. I'm very sad to say. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, Sam at Thoughts on Tomes, I've actually gotten into a lot of hers. I, I watch a lot of her Instagram stories, but I've gotten into a lot of art videos recently. So, but thanks for listening to the, me answer all these random questions. If you want to do this video, you go ahead and do it. I'm going to be one of those people who I don't really tag. Actually, I'm going to tag. I'm going to um, tag Christine and Jessica over at Game of Tomes. 
that's who I'm tagging. But I'm also tagging you if you want to do this. I was not tagged by anyone. Don't feel like you need to be. So, but until the next video, ta-ta for now.